Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Average Mountain Biker, where re I review everything mountain biking from gear, bikes, trails, from the perspective of a beginner to average mountain biker. A couple weeks ago I wanted to get out of town uh, and ride somewhere beautiful before it got too cold up north. I live in Arizona, in the greater Phoenix metro area, and I ended up in beautiful Sedona. I ended up taking uh, two complete beginners, or amateurs, my brother-in-law and his friend, and we wanted to find out if we could make it out to Sedona and actually enjoy some trails out there. Everything that we see in YouTube, like Highline and all those crazy ones, we just don't have the skill for, and we wouldn't enjoy them, and, and it would be too dangerous. And we ended up riding Coxcomb Trail. It was a lot of fun. We parked at the Boynton Trailhead parking lot because I had heard that Lower Airy was a lot of fun, and we just absolutely couldn't miss it. We did pay $5 for parking there. In order to make it a loop, we started at Lower Airy, uh, which is just under a mile, and then rode to Coxcomb clockwise for four miles until it met with Upper Airy and rode for another two miles, and back through Lower Airy to the parking lot. Rather than a loop, I guess this is kind of a popsicle. We took three bikes, my wife's Live Peak, my Giant Trans, and my Yeti SB5. The travel on these bikes were more than sufficient to handle these trails, and in fact, I want to go back with a hardtail just for fun. Lower Erie is fast and flowy, and with only 88 feet of elevation, it is a great warm-up for the ride. Once you hit Coxcomb, make a right or turn southeast. The first straight stretch, which makes about a fifth of, of this trail, is basically all downhill. Super fun, not really any drops. I was smiling from ear to ear the whole time. Once it turns right, there's a good amount of climbing. It's not too technical. I managed to somehow clear most of them, but I was pretty out of breath. Yeah. I'm still building my skills and confidence, so plenty of brakes are good. After the four miles, we hit Upper Airy. This next section was a lot of fun. There were a couple minor switchbacks that added some spice to the last portion of this loop with some climbs and some descents.
This takes us back to the lower Airy and Coxcomb intersection that we took back to the parking lot. We rode a total of about eight miles, which was just perfect, not too much, not too little. It really made it worth the drive. I really recommend this trail for beginners, intermediate riders, even advanced, because the views of Sedona are just absolutely mesmerizing. So everybody wins, but specifically for beginners and intermediates because it's fairly easy. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell button uh, so you don't miss any future videos. I will continue to rate trails here in Arizona, as well as bikes, gear, and everything mountain biking related, again, from the perspective of a beginner to intermediate mountain biker. Comment below if there's anything specific that you'd like me to review and any comments on what I could be doing to, to get better. Until next time, see you then.